hey guys and uh, welcome back to my channel again so you are watching motion only 14 where i'm making uh, the passing package and important questions uh, for the vtu students okay so today i'm with the uh, subject of bmat s201 it is the engineering mathematics second uh, especially for the csc stream students okay so i will discuss here the passing strategy uh, which you should follow and you can easily pass the mathematics subject as i have seen a lot of students who are struggling in the mathematics subject okay so far so that is why i am making the important questions for those students who want to pass the mathematics series in the engineering right so let us start uh, from the module fifth it is itself a passing module you have to cover these four topics uh, with the full concepts okay so and uh, no need to worry for the formulas as uh, you will be provided with the handbook over there in which the formulas are mentioned only thing is uh, you need to practice uh, these methods okay so first one is a range kata method or range kuta met method whatever you call it okay next is a uh, taylor series method and uh, modified euler's method and milne's predictor and corrector formula these are the four topics on which uh, you should uh, practice a uh, varieties of questions okay so uh, these four uh, topics uh, you have to cover so that you can easily grab 20 marks uh, from this particular module and i have already uh, made detailed videos on these particular methods i will uh, just provide the link in the description box where you can avail these videos and also i will make the new videos on these topics so that you, you can get the clear vision uh, on these particular topics over there right so this is the model fifth i am telling you that these just 24 marks are even are in your pocket so you should not leave any topic from this particular uh, module over here okay so this is about model fifth it is itself a passing module next is model four which is again a passing module in which you have to cover uh, the regular falsi method which is the definite question will be uh, on this particular method okay equations will be given you have to solve accordingly uh, with the regular falsi method all right next is a newton Raphson method the equations will be given you have to solve the problem with the newton Raphson method okay as i earlier told you there will be the data handbook or handbook uh, in which the formulas will be mentioned so you have to use them and solve the questions accordingly okay so this is only possible when you practice for these methods okay then only you can easily solve the questions on the uh, in the examinations okay as the time bound is there you have only three hours so better to solve these uh, modules first in the examination okay uh, if you have the lot of practice on this much next is a uh, newton's divided difference formula Langrange's interpolation formula and interpolation using Newton's forward and backward difference formula and Simpson's one third and three by eight rule. These are the two chapters uh, in the model four which you, you should cover uh, surely. Okay, so this is necessary for you people to cover these modules fully over there. Okay, and as I earlier told you that this is the passing module, so that means you should fully cover these topics, right? if you want to be on the safer side so dear friends uh, now let's discuss the model 2 which is again a passing module okay so these three modules are very simpler ones believe me my dear friends if you just practice these three modules these are very easier ones uh, so that you can easily pass the mathematics subject you should not leave uh, you should not leave any topic from these three modules which i discussed here uh, so uh, the questions will be like uh, f is equal to grade grade of uh, x y cube z square find divergence of f curl of f at the point one minus one one also i have made videos on these topics separately okay i will provide the link in the description so that you can avail these videos and next is prove that definitely one question will be there like prove that cylindrical coordinate system is orthogonal or sometimes they will ask prove that spherical coordinate system is orthogonal right next is questions will be on uh, find the directional derivative the vectors will be given you have to find the directional derivative also video is available for this next is find the grade uh, gradient of phi that is grade phi if phi is equal to x q y q plus z q minus 3 x y z at the point 1 minus 1 2 very simple questions these are over there right next is find the angle between two surfaces uh, so the surfaces will be given equation for the surfaces will be given so you have to find the angle show that the two surfaces xz plus y plus z square is equal to 9 and uh, z is equal to 4 minus 4xy at 1 comma minus 1 comma 2 are the orthogonal okay this is also the same question and uh, you have to practice four four questions from each topic so that you will be on the safer side and uh, using mathematical tools write codes to find gradient of y is equal to x square y z okay these are the topics which you should cover from the module second so that you can easily get uh, more than 15 marks from this particular module okay or sometimes 20 marks you can easily get if you just cover the first chapter itself next is <clears throat> module uh, first 
which is somehow typical than these three models which I discussed. So here the super important question is uh, the derivation beta gamma function that is show that beta of m comma n is equal to gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n okay and also there is the triple integration and double integration which you should cover four four problems from each concept if you are convenient if not convenient then simply leave if you are not having the hold on integration easily skip these topics then okay so if somebody wants to score then they have to definitely go through these topics like evaluate uh, triple integration of this e power x plus y plus z dz dy dx where 0 running from sorry in, uh, these intervals running from 0 to a 0 to x 0 to x plus y evaluate by changing the order of integration this may be the question and equations will be given so you have to evaluate by changing the order of uh, what we call the integration over there this much is enough uh, to cover the module first all right now let's come to the module third which is the newly chapter introduced for the 22 scheme students this is the vector subspace okay so you have to cover the questions like uh, prove that subset w is equal to x comma y comma z divided by x minus 3 y plus 4 z is equal to 0 of the vector space r cube is a subspace of r cube so you have to practice three four questions from the notes itself on this particular topic means subspace questions next is transformation questions uh, linear transformation you have to show that you have to prove t is equal to r cube to r cube be defined by t of x comma y comma z is equal to 2x minus 3y x plus 4 5z is not a linear transformation at least three questions uh, you should practice from this concept also determine whether the matrix is a linear combination this is the another concept that is the linear combination of vectors sorry linear combination of matrices okay so just cover two three problems from this concept also so that uh, you can grab seven marks from this particular question so verify the rank nullity it is in the or part okay this much is the first part and this much is the second part in which uh, you should cover verify the rank nullity theorem for the linear transformation there will be the varieties of questions i have taken here the example from the question paper that is transformation uh, v3 r uh, to v2 r defined by t of x y, y z uh, is equal to y minus x y minus z so this is the just sample so you should go through four problems on rank nullity theorem so that uh, also you can grab seven marks from this question over there next is questions on the linearly dependent and independent sets okay so this much uh, portion is enough to cover the model third okay so what does what is now the passing strategy passing strategy is you have to cover fully module 5 module 4 and module 2 okay these are the very simpler modules and i believe you can easily score uh, 60 marks from these three modules if you just practice okay if and only if if you are practicing then only it becomes easier for the students to cover 60 marks from these three modules okay the rest of the modules you can go through one one question that becomes your passing package okay you can go through only one question from the module first that is show that beta of m comma n is equal to gamma of m gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n okay and module 3 if you are convenient if it is easier to you people then go through these topics whatever i have mentioned okay so this much is enough in this particular video i hope this will definitely help you in the examination and also no need to worry i will make the uh, problem solving videos on these particular concepts whatever i have mentioned okay so later on the videos will be released and thanks for watching my video and wish you all the best for your examinations